Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and this video is going to be on my experience with the insertion of the Mirena IUD, what it was like having for about four months, and why I got it removed. So if this topic, if you don't really like the adult topic of menstruation or birth control, I suggest that this you don't watch this video. It may not be uh, the best video for you on my channel. Uh, so, especially since my channel is male dominated because it is, I'm a female gamer and most males watch gaming videos. That being said, uh, I feel like this is important for males and females to know about because one, for a female, they may be interested in this type of birth control. Two, they want to know the experience and side effects. And for males, I think it's important to be educated on the different types of birth control. What if your, your significant other can, would go through and the experience she may have and why it may be the best fit for her and why it may not be the best fit for her. So I wanted to make this video because I was, I did research before I got my Mirena IUD. I was very scared to get it inserted and I wanted to get educated. So the reason why I got it is because I took the pill, birth control pill, for six years and I was tired of having to take the pill at the same time every day or if I was about six hours behind, I would have a big scare or if you miss a day, it's a big scare. Uh, I've never gotten pregnant. It's not a big deal. I've been very responsible. However, I didn't want to have to worry about that. And on top of that, birth control isn't that good for your body over six years, the hormones, through your blood system, etc. So I wanted to look into the option of the Mirena IUD. It is a hormonal implantation in a woman's uterus. And for the Paragard, that is basically an option where it's a copper IUD and it's non-hormonal. I didn't want to do that because I thought it was weird having metal in my, my you know parts and I just it lasts for 10 years which is great but I heard that menstrual menstruals were much stronger and p women went through a lot of pain with that so I thought okay let me try Mirena because it's the hormonal one that lasts five years before it needs to be removed and the hormones are sub are supposed to be very minimal and and supposed to be um kind of restricted to just your uterus instead of going throughout your bloodstream like the birth control pill does. So I thought, okay, this is a great option because it's got to be better for my body and, you know, etc. So that's why I chose it. And that's probably why uh, the women watching this may be interested as well. Uh, so the insertion was, yes, painful. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Women who are watching this video need to know that it is a painful procedure. And I have a very, I have a medium to high pain tolerance. I mean, the procedure is less than five minutes long. So the way I saw it is the pain that you get that day for five minutes is worth it because then you are protected from pregnancy for five years. So I thought it was worth it. And also my gynecologist at the time did use a numbing uh, tool on, or a numbing spray on my uterus. So in case you're interesting, I don't know if it's called a buffer or what it is, but talk to your gynecologist about that. I don't know what it would be like without it or with it, but that's what they used on me. And uh, so it was painful in about for three days, I had very bad cramping and I was very hormonal actually because I stopped taking birth control for about a week before the Mirena was inserted. I was a hormonal. I felt like, I think my body was like having a panic attack because, you know, we had this plastic thing with hormones inserted in me and that was very hard for my body to adjust to. And of course you have very bad cramping as if you were on your menstrual cycle, more or less the same for me. And then I had a very light menstrual, you would say very light, for about a week and a half and then it went away and that was that I was like okay this is great I feel good I can exercise and then I had a check up three weeks later with my gynecologist to make sure everything was in place and the strings were in place boom perfect everything was good I was like this is awesome I don't have to worry about taking a pill um intimacy was fine don't worry the male partner cannot feel it for like 99.9% .9 of the time even if he's you know well endowed um so that was all good i was like this is great and thomas was like i agree you made a good decision great well about two 
to three months after insertion, I started to get very bad acne. And I didn't think it was related to Mirena. I was like, okay, I'm just stressed with school. I have a wedding I'm planning, you know, I'm just stressed, you know? So I was like, okay, wash my face twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening. And that's the most you're supposed to wash your face with, you know, your hands or a washcloth, boom. But I started getting breakouts on my chest and back as well. And when I was on birth control for those six years, I never really had acne. Like I've always had very clear skin, so it was bad. And Thomas was like, yo, what's going on with your face? And I'm, I was like, oh, mad at him. I was like, I don't know. I'm trying to wash my face. I can't make it go away. And he's like, okay, my bad, you know, back up. And um, eventually I was like, I think it's my Mirena. Like it's been three months though, so I don't know why it's happening now, you know? And he was like, nah, it's not your Mirena, Kelsey. And I Googled it. I was like, no, it's my Mirena. And my mother was kind of noticing my acne too. She's like, Kelsey, what's going on? Why is your acne so bad? You never had a, you never had acne. And it start, it started like coming on my neck and the sides. Of, like, you can kind of see the leftover sides right here. This is like from a week and a half of being on birth control. And it's finally going away, guys. Finally. But it was terrible. All up here, here, just everywhere. My chin, jawline, it was bad. And I never had that issue on birth control. You know, I did have, when you go th when I went through puberty, around 13, 14 years old, acne, but not cystic acne. This was like cystic acne, bad acne. Washing my face multiple times a day. So my mother's like, okay, we're going to send you to the dermatologist to get this handled, you know? And, um, so she made an appointment. It was very expensive because my insurance only paid for half of it. Uh, the dermo put me on two pills, uh, once or twice a day that were supposed to prevent this hormonal acne. And he said, women with the Mirena get this all the time. Not all women, but he has a lot of patients come in saying from the hormonal IUDs that it's a problem. And he also gave me some cream. So I took those pills twice a day. And I used the cream and it was not going away. I washed my face twice a day. I took the pill and I put that cream on my face at night. I was like, Thomas, this is really bothering me because I have a wedding in June and I want my face to be clear before I go to this wedding. And I noticed a lot of women were having this experience on the internet. And I was like, okay, I'm going to start considering removing this Mirena IUD because I don't think this is worth it. I'd rather just take one pill every day, my birth control, than taking two pills and being washing my face consistently and not being able to control it because it's hormonal. And so I waited for probably like three weeks and it didn't get better. And if it got better, it was slightly better. It was not noticeably better, but whatever. It's hard uh, to medically treat acne through when it's a hormonal problem. And so I was like, that's it. I'm done. This is ridiculous. I'm done stressing about it. Stressing is going to make my acne worse. And then I've been like constantly, you know, my mother was constantly getting on me, which was not cool because I didn't care as much as she did. She cared so much. I was like, girl, calm down, mama. And so I went to go get my IUD removed and it was, um, so I got it removed, which was super quick, nowhere near as painful as when you get it inserted. It was just like, boop, boom. And of course you did feel like a big cramp. You felt like a cramp for like one, two, three, maybe seconds. And then boom, it's done. And you weren't, I didn't have any cramping, anything like that. And then I went right back on the birth control. I picked up the next morning, my birth control pill from the pharmacy, and I've been on that, and my acne is already going away after a week and a half. I'm like, oh my gosh, and I just have this, like, leftover, you know, red stuff from before because it was cystic acne. So, ladies, what I have to tell you now is that the insertion is a very quick, painful process, but it's very quick, and if you have a good gynecologist who t helps you with every step of the way, it is awkward, but hopefully it's worth it. That being said, if you did have acne when you were going through puberty around 13, 14, ladies, I don't think this is the best option for you because you may have awful acne, especially if you went from being on the pill to the IUD. So you may have awful acne like I did and it may just not be worth it. Um, 
and that's what I wanted to make this video about. So I hope this helped y'all out and finally I would like to say though don't be scared about the insertion just do it YOLO go in get through the pains like three you know and some women do have constant menstruation for months so it may not be the option for you but I've heard some wonderful experiences with these ladies are like I love my Mirena and they don't have the acne problem that I did but the progesterone was just way too much on my body and I don't feel like it's as con concentrated in the uterus as doctors say. And I just wanted to put my experience out there to let you ladies know and male significant others know what your, your, la your lady friend may be going through. That being said, I, it is the best type of protection you could ever have. You won't miss a pill because you're, you have it inserted in you. And you could start looking into options with the Paragard. However, there were, there's complications with both. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. You feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'll put the, my link down below. Feel free to PM me on Twitter, too, with any questions, ladies or gentlemen. I'll, I'll try to check that when I can. And subscribe to me if you would like to see my future videos however i will warn you that a lot of my future videos are gaming content however i'm wanting to do some more irl videos and if you guys are interested in those you can check those out thank you so much for the support guys and hit that subscribe turn on your notification bell if you want to see more videos like this bye guys